this lesson, we want to create a query in Google Sheets that includes a calculated field. And we want to be able to sum based on that calculated field. So in this example here, we have a data set of loans. Uh, one of the columns is the loan type categories, and then another is the branch location categories. And what we'd like to do is create a calculated field that multiplies the loan amount times the interest rate so that we have a sum product for each loan that we can then sum on that sum product field and divide by the sum of the loan amounts to get a weighted average grouped by loan type and branch location. So the first thing we're gonna do is add a new tab where our query will live I'm going to hit plus down here and in this new tab begin our query statement. So the first input is the data set we want to query off of. That's the loan detail back on the first tab. So I'm going to click in the top left cell here, hit control shift right arrow and then control shift down arrow. That will select everything. I'm going to hit F4 to lock that down. Our next input is our query statement where we specify what we want to pull back in our query. This needs to be enclosed in double quotes and it begins with the keyword select. So we want to select columns C through F and then create a calculated column in our output that multiplies the balance times the rate. So for our calculated column, we will just want to multiply E times F. And since we created a calculated column, you have to give it a name. So we have to insert the keyword label, reference our calculated values again, and then provide a name. So we'll call this sum product. And that name needs to be enclosed in single quotes. So that is our first query statement and the number of headers we have in our detail is one for our final argument. So you can see this pulls back query results on what we specified. We have our calculated field on the end. Now you cannot sum a single query calculated field. So what you have to do is in order to sum a calculated field, you have to nest it within another query. So I'm going to hit F2 in our query statement. We're going to insert another query. And this first query is actually the first argument of our second outer query. So that is already done. So now we come to the select statement of our outer query. So again, this has to be enclosed in double quotes and begins with the keyword select. Now this time, we want to group by columns A and B. We want to sum column C and sum our calculated column E and divide it by the loan balance. So since we're dealing with an outer query, rather than refer to the column letter, we have to refer to it as column one, two, three, and so on. So we want to select columns one and two. I'm just going to copy this so we can paste the word column each time. We want to sum on column three. And we want to sum column five and divide by the sum of column three. We also need to group by columns one and two. So at this time, we probably want to format our calculated column that we're summing. So we're going to input the keyword format and refer to our calculated column and the format we want is a percentage 
and that also needs to be enclosed in single quotes. So this will be the end of our new select statement. So we'll close that out with a double quote. And again, we have one row of headers. Our data set is grouped by our loan type categories and then our branch location. And we have the weighted average of the loans by those two groups. So if we wanted to check and make sure this worked out correctly, what we could do is maybe we'll take a look at just auto loans for the main office on our detail and make sure that this calculated correctly. So if we go up here to data and maybe we'll create a filter view filter on just the auto loans and you can see there's only two auto loans for the main office so what we'll do is insert the weighted average function and our values are going to be the interest rates here and the weights are our loan balances and you can see that returns an interest rate of 4.87% we go back here that is what we got in our query so we know that this is working as it should be so that is how you can create a calculated field in a query output in Google Sheets and then sum on that calculated field hey if you like what you saw today please subscribe to the Excel cave thanks for watching